You're watching News 19 Daybreak with Dustin Lukey, Candace Price, and meteorologist Alyssa Triplett. Daybreak continues right now. Good morning and welcome back. Well, like so many events this year, the Chaseburg Soul Burner will see a modified format, but it's going ahead on Saturday, September 19th. And Linda DeGarmo is here with me once again, virtually, of course, to talk about this milestone year, 15th anniversary, Linda. Yes, 15 years already. Well, thanks for being with us to share some of the details. So modified format, can't do things the way we normally do, but it still sounds like it's going to be a pretty robust event. I, we're sure hoping that it will be, and, and I looked ahead at um, your Channel 19 weather forecast, and it looks like 67 and sunny, so I'm holding you to that, okay? Well, we'll, we'll <laughs> do our best to, to keep that forecast updated throughout the week as we go forward. It is coming up on Saturday. Can you give us a little rundown of what the schedule looks like? Sure, sure. So the schedule is a lot different this year. Um, so from 11 to 1, we are running a drive through chicken queue. Um, so if people would like chicken, they, sh you know, they can certainly contact me. We can get you on the list. Um, along with the chicken queue, we're also going to be having some pies for sale. We're going to be doing a uh, wine cork raffle at that time um, and a few other things. So, so people can just drive through the park. And then at one o'clock, we are going to kind of block off the traffic coming through the park so that we're going this year, we're only going to have one entrance into our soul burner. And at that entrance, you will be given a, um, a bandana that is going to be mm -hmm. mandatory. So we're asking masks to be mandatory. There'll be a temperature check there. And the wonderful Golden Sisters will be greeting everyone that comes in. So that starts, that'll, that'll start at 1 o'clock. And then at 1 o'clock, the chicken queue will continue. And we will also open our soup kitchen then. So other things that are different this year, we've usually had a lot of kids games and bounce house and all that, which was very popular, but uh, we can't do that this yeah. year. So uh, there won't be any kids games, but uh, we will have our silent auction and our famous dessert auction, which we usually, usually is just a hit and it's a ton of people there um, is also going to be silent this year. So just come down, bring your wallets and, uh, be ready to bid on some wonderful looking, wonderful looking things. This year, we also have um, on our Facebook page, which is Soul Burner um, slash Chasebird, we have a um, virtual silent auction going on right now. So if okay. you don't, if you can't come down, you can go on there and look. There's there's a lot of nice things, and uh, you can you can start bidding, and that goes until next Saturday. So and it's live right now. So yeah. And such a, a big result, seemingly, every year from this, this small community coming together. Uh, Linda, can you speak to the, the, the impact that this event has? Oh, well, we, we have raised, uh, it's like a million and a quarter dollars in the, 15, in the 14 years that, we were, um, that we've been doing this. And of course, this year, we don't expect it to be that much. You know, we don't expect it to be that much. Last year, we raised 140000 I think. And this year, honestly, I'll be happy with 50. I'll be happy with anything because yeah, who knows? Yeah. It might be the dollar that, that finds the cure. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, working toward that cure for the American Cancer Society, the Soul Burner event coming up uh, in Chaseburg. And we'll have details as well on our website, wxw.com. Linda, thanks as always for being with us. You no, know, thanks. It's always good to hear your voice. Yours as well. Alyssa, over to you. Well, thanks, Dustin, and we are watching that patchy fog is filling into the region, but how long is that going to stick around and what's the afternoon going to look like? We'll have the details just after this quick break.